All right. Hello, hello. Um, this is a belated update um, on my progress with the Chapman stick. Uh, last week, I didn't do one, even though I intended to do one every week. I didn't do one. Uh, I was feeling really disheartened, and the belt buckle, uh, which I'll show the belt buckle, hadn't come back in yet, but now I've replaced it. Thankfully, it was pretty painless. Um, and uh, yeah, it's all it's all usable again. So there was a while where I was just practicing with with uh, with one hand at a time because the other hand was needed to stabilize the instrument. Um, yeah, and and I I want to say um, that. I feel uh, a little weird about the infrequency of these updates, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it long term or if I'm going to do anything about it, but I feel a little bit weird about how infrequent these, these updates are at the moment because um, I really wanted to show uh, the, the incremental progress, the, the progress that happens just a tiny little bit at a time um, from from continuing to to do the thing um, and instead you might see you know the result of having practiced for for a week or whatever um, so uh, well I'll, I'll show chords first it's still not smooth um, as, as it should be but something like that. You know, if I'm practicing it for a little bit, I can get it a bit smoother, but you can see there's a bit more smoothness, there's a bit more consistency. The outside traffic is very loud and I apologize for that. There's a bit more smoothness, there's a bit more consistency and it, little by little it's it's getting there, it's improving. There's a bus stop right outside my house. Not ideal for recording. Yeah, whatever. That'll do for that. Um, construction of light. That bass line probably hasn't budged much. I haven't practiced it a lot. Let's see if I can even play it. That's messing up a lot. I, I don't think you're gonna... I'll do one more take, but I don't think it's gonna be much better than the last time I, I tried to play it. I haven't been practicing the bass line so much, and I'll show you why, show you what I have been practicing in just a second, but I'll do one more take, I'll do one more attempt. Now I'll do one more attempt. <laughs> that last one doesn't count because I can't hear myself over the traffic. I don't know how loud the traffic is in the recording. This is actually a terrible way to record, but that's okay. Yeah, 
forget about it. Pretend like that never even happened. Yeah, you can do that, can't you? For me, just this once. I believe in you. All right. Um, and now I feel, okay, disclosure here. So, so now that I've, I've done that, it's kind of gotten my nervous system ramped up. I feel a little anxious, not too settled when I play this next part. So I've got my excuses lined up. That's, that's really the main function of having screwed up on the last part, is that it gives me permission to screw up on the next part. Isn't that good? Um, let's see. So I've changed. I've recently changed where I play this. I'll show this. This is part of the process. So I was playing... I was playing this line from the construction of light. I'm doing it an octave down from the original, um, and it's not 100% one to one, the the same as how the original was played in some parts, uh, which maybe you'll hear. But Whatever. Anyway, so I was playing it up here. My point was not to not to um, try to make it seem like I have this part down pat, which I don't. Um, not that I have anything down pat still, um, but I'm getting closer. So I was practicing in this position a lot. You can see where my hand is. That if I do the other part, an octave down where it belongs. other hand is here and this hands here my hands are kind of in the way of one another so I started kind of not used to these strings actually have a different tension and action at this part of the fretboard play this differently all right but that's kind of Okay, so that part that I just did there is the run of the right hand for the first for the first portion of this. So it starts off in 11 and it switches to 5 with a, an extra beat on, on the ends of, uh, of a 4 pattern. So it's like 11 and then it's 21 or something, I think. Technically, if you want to count them that way, or 5-5-5-6. Or five, 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 basically but then the other hand is more or less doing the same thing the whole time or it does one little shift but what I've been trying to practice is the 11 the opening part the 11 against the 5 uh, which
I wish that this traffic wasn't so goddamn loud. It's really frustrating me when I'm doing this. I should have just... I, I should have just put on headphones is what I should have done. It's very frustrating. But anyway, you kind of get the idea of, of where this is at, that 11 against 5. So I've been practicing that a bit. I'm going to have to get out of that habit because at some point the right hand will transition to the rest of it. You know, the right hand will transition to the, um, but it does that whole that whole other run and at some point the left hand transition will transition to um, yeah I think that's it now I've opted for this rather than including that bass note to me because of the change in timbre with the thicker string. I'm sure that once it's going at speed it won't matter that much, so maybe I'll do it. the idea so having learned this this whole run um, starting with the part in 11 I this part is the part that transition it's the part that I struggle with most because of the changed action. Maybe because of the pinky, too. I'm still... I'm still kind of learning, you know, like... It's really odd, but fretting something on a guitar with a pinky, uh, you know, doesn't feel doesn't feel that difficult. I mean, running through a scale or whatever, when you're just plucking the strings and you fret it, but actually hammering the note on every time, it feels real different to me. It feels really fucking different. It requires a different type of precision, um, and I'm still getting used to it with the pinky. Especially on that right hand, maybe, I don't know, but even the left hand feels quite different because the position of the hand um, relative to the neck, the whole, the bio, the actual biomechanics of doing that little action are significantly different. Uh, where, where the pinky lands and how it feels in the hand, it's different. Um, anyway, so that's a little overview of what I've been practicing these last couple of weeks and kind of where I'm at. Now that I have the right hand part of that with that run, assuming that I can I can do that transition into the into the five, um, 
I have half, theoretically, I have half of that opening guitar part from the construction of light. Um, even if it's not down pat, I know the notes and, and I know what I need to do to improve, which is just keep practicing um, and, and keep noting the, where it's inconsistent and, and going slower. Um, which is kind of surprising. It's a little exciting. Maybe I, I haven't been feeling too much like um, taking on a lot of new stuff over this last week or so, but maybe if I get over that hump, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll get the second part. I'll get all the notes for the second part in my hands, in my memory. And once I've done that, then I have both parts and it's just a matter of practice, 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 um, which is kind of exciting. And then after that, I'll take on the singing part, but um, that's, that's all I'm going to do from the intro part of the construction of light prior to where the singing starts for anybody who knows this song, which is probably not a lot of people, but fucking whatever. Um, uh, yeah, prior to the singing part, I might, I'm probably going to even drop the bass line. I think I'm just going to start off with the, um, with the with the repeating octaves which I haven't shown this time and then go into the guitar part and then go into the the two guitar parts that I've just shown um, and I'm gonna do it like that until the singing starts and then I'll bring in the bass um, so that's kinda my game plan I'm just gonna memorize those guitar runs those those runs of the the independent guitar melodies like what I was just showing um, and then we're on to the singing. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad getting that, getting that into the memory. Um, and that's all I've got to show you, any for anybody who is watching. Thanks. See you.